ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, the ceremony will start in five minutes. Please turn off uh, all electronic devices. Thank you. Please rise for the procession of graduates in the stage party and remain standing for the national anthem and invocation by Chaplain Phillips.
Good morning. Will you join me for the invocation? Our Father God, we gather this morning in an atmosphere of excitement and celebration, pride and success, and we rejoice today with these 34 soon-to-be VMI graduates and their families. Today, a dream comes true, a goal is accomplished, and a milestone is surpassed. The ring on their finger and the diploma in their hand will forever symbolize the work and sacrifice, sweat and tears, bonds and memories that have comprised their VMI experience. But today, Lord, they begin a new journey, a new race. God, let them run this race with endurance. May they pursue excellence, exemplify servant leadership. May they always stand firmly on the principles of truth, faith, honor, and integrity. Grant them success, guard their course, protect their way. May they discern the things that are right and just and fair. May your wisdom enter their hearts and your knowledge be pleasant to their souls. May they have discretion that protects them and understanding that guards them. Grant that they might be bold and confident in all of their endeavors. Allow them to attain the potential that you have designed for each of them. But above all else, give them a faith in you that will never fail. We pray this in your holy name. Amen. Please be seated. <clears throat> Oh, good morning, graduating first-classmen, faculty and staff, and families and friends. Welcome to the December 2018 commencement exercise of the Virginia Military Institute. Whether the ceremony takes place on the traditional 16th day of May or in December, it is a proud occasion marking an important achievement on the road of life. However, there is perhaps one distinction to today's ceremony that perhaps needs mentioning. Whereas the May ceremony is held in Cameron Hall, this ceremony is being held in Jackson Memorial Hall, where VMI graduations were held for 100 years before the core size became too large and had to be moved to Cock Hall, and later in outside ceremonies, and now in Cameron Hall. So your graduation on this historic, in this historic Jackson Memorial Hall, therefore, in my view, continues a very proud and long, important tradition at the Institute. Joining me on the stage today are VMI Board of Visitors President, Mr. William Bowen, VMI Class of 1973, Colonel James Inman, VMI Class of 1986, VMI's Chief of Staff, and this morning's graduation speaker. VMI Deputy Superintendent for Academics and Dean of the Faculty, Brigadier General Robert Moreshi. VMI Deputy Superintendent for Finance, Administration, and Support, Brigadier General Dallas Clark. VMI Class of 1999. VMI Register, Colonel Janet Battiglia. VMI Institute Chaplain and Chaplain to the Corps of Cadets, Colonel Robert E. Phillips, Sr. VMI Class of 1987 and VMI Associate Chaplain, Major John Casper, VMI Class of 2004. Let us begin this morning by graduates thanking your parents, your grandparents, your guardians, and special friends who have guided and supported you as you navigated demanding years of studies and challenges as cadets at VMI and have brought you to this special day. Let's give them our sincere thanks. And let me add my congratulations to those expressed by many others over these past few days. Having watched your progress since matriculation, knowing that you chose a harder path than most college students, please recognize that the entire VMI community and family is very proud of you. From here, you will go forth carrying the ideals of VMI, and I'm confident that you will make your mark in the world and lead successful and happy lives. Stay in touch with your brother rats and with the Institute and return as often as you are able. I congratulate you and salute you. You have our very best wishes for the years ahead. And I now have the great pleasure of introducing your speaker for this special occasion, Colonel James Enman, U.S. Army retired and VMI's Chief of Staff. Colonel Enman serves as the chairman of the Institute Planning Committee, the most important 
and significant committee at the Institute, comprised of the two deputy superintendents, our commandant, athletic director, and the senior vice presidents and functional staff leaders of our school. This committee addresses and coordinates all the significant planning operations on post for the present and strategically into the future. In these challenging and rapidly changing times, a clear and responsive outlook on the future is essential to the success of our school. And Colonel Inman and this committee supply that important perspective. In carrying out these extensive duties, he is also responsible for publishing and maintaining all the general orders, special orders, and memoranda, and formulating policy guidance and decisions. In other words, he really is the man who keeps the wheels turning efficiently and effectively, and importantly, he provides wise counsel and guidance to many. He graduated from VMI in 1986 with a Bachelor of Arts degree in English, and upon graduation he was commissioned in the United States Army as a field artillery officer, where he had a very distinguished career that included combat service in the first Gulf War, during Operations Desert Shield and Operations Desert Storm, and later in Afghanistan and in Iraq, where he was seriously wounded while in battalion command. Other assignments included Chief of Staff of the U.S. Army Cadet Command, and which commissions all the ROTC officers across our nation, the Field Artillery Branch Chief and the Army's Human Relations, Human Resources Command that assigns and develops field artillery officers, Commander of the 3rd Battalion, 320th Field Artillery in the very prestigious 101st Airborne Division, duty with the United States Military Delegation in Brussels, Belgium, and numerous other field artillery assignments as a company and field grade officer. And just before coming to VMI in 2013, and in his last assignment before retiring, he was the commander of the complex, important, and very sensitive National Capital Region Warrior Transition Brigade at Walter Reed Army Hospital, where he was responsible for all wounded, ill, and injured soldiers in the National Capital Region. In his Army career, Colonel Emman attended the U.S. Army Basic and Advanced Courses at Fort Sill, Oklahoma, the Command and General Staff College at Fort Leavenworth, Kansas, and the National War College in Washington, D.C. He holds a master's degrees in the liberal arts from Louisiana State University and a national security strategy from the National Defense University. His awards include the Legion of Merit with two Oakleaf Clusters, Bronze Star with Oakleaf Cluster, and the Purple Heart, among many others. Colonel Hinman is married to the former L'Oreal White of Kilbourne, Louisiana. They have two children, Benny and Eric Proudly. I think many of you here know Eric. Graduated from VMI in 2017, where he was president of the VMI Honor Court and a company commander in the Corps of Cadets. Eric is currently serving in the 10th Mountain Division at Fort Drum, New York, while Benny, a graduate of Liberty University, and today an intensive care unit nurse, resides in Fort Worth, Texas. Please welcome a really wonderful and consummate professional, a leader, and a passionate believer in the Institute, and a gentleman of the highest order, Colonel James Emmon, VMI Chief of Staff and VMI Class of 1986. Amy? Thank you very much, sir, for that kind introduction. Mr. Bolin, Mrs. P, faculty and staff, ladies and gentlemen, family and friends, and most especially to you graduates, good morning. Let me start by saying what an honor and a privilege I consider it to speak with you on the occasion of your graduation from VMI. And as General P mentioned, it makes it all the more special to be with you here in JM Hall. Occasionally, being a retired colonel and wounded combat veteran, I'm asked to make remarks at Memorial Day ceremonies. Several years ago, I was asked to be the guest speaker at the Clarksville, Tennessee and Fort Campbell, Kentucky Memorial Day ceremony. As I was putting together my remarks, I decided I would quote Mr. Abraham Lincoln's Gettysburg Address. So I had a very brief introduction, then recited the address word for word. You know, it's only 271 words long, and it's among the most beautiful prose in the English language. And it has such a powerful message, one that resonates as strongly today as it did over 155 years ago. 
you may remember that it ends powerfully. It is rather for us to be, Mr. Lincoln was speaking at the dedication of the Gettysburg Cemetery less than five months after the battle. It is rather for us to be here dedicated to the great task remaining before us that from these honored dead, we take increased devotion to that cause which they gave the last full measure of devotion. That we here highly resolve that these dead shall not have died in vain, that this nation under God shall have a new birth of freedom and that government of the people, by the people, and for the people shall not perish from the earth." Unquote. And then I had a very brief conclusion. And when I finished that speech, there was thunderous applause. Now, I gave Mr. Lincoln credit. I've done this on three or four occasions, and I can't tell you how many people come up to me after I recite the Gettysburg Address and tell me that's the best Memorial Day speech they've ever heard. So I looked for a Gettysburg Address equivalent for graduation speeches, but much to my chagrin, could not find one worthy. So I'm gonna have to muddle through this one on my own. As I was preparing for this, I tried to recollect who was the speaker at my own graduation and what he said. I'm embarrassed to admit that I could recall neither. And so with that in mind, and recognizing that you very well may have preferred to have someone of national or international renown, I will promise two things, one, to do my best, and two, to keep it short. I love VMI's marketing slogan, Don't Do Ordinary. It is elegant in its simplicity. The older I get, the more I believe that simplicity lies on the far side of complexity. When you think and think on something and can, still it, and can distill it down to its essence, it often becomes elegant in its simplicity. This is certainly the case with our slogan, Don't Do Ordinary. It truly sums up the essence of the VMI experience. Now I know that you know that today is more of a beginning than an ending. You sit here full of potential. Some of you will accomplish truly extraordinary things. Corporate CEO, four-star general, attaining the absolute pinnacle in your chosen professions. But statistically, most of you, like me, will lead a life with good, solid, but relatively ordinary accomplishments. There's no shame in this. The key, in my opinion, is to do the ordinary extraordinarily well. Do the ordinary extraordinarily well. VMI has provided you with an exceptional education and with a superior foundation for the future. I'm not sure you realize how well prepared you are. This includes not only your academic credentials and knowledge, which are impeccable thanks in large measure to our teaching faculty, but the simple skills that are often unlearned by most college graduates today. An example of the kind of skills that I'm talking of are being at the right place, the right time, in the right uniform, well prepared to do the task at hand. And you're no strangers to hard work, so your work ethic right out of the blocks is better than most. Perhaps the most important component of your foundation for future success lies in the fact that you are ladies and gentlemen in word and deed, honorable. And by this, I mean not just not lying, cheating, or stealing, but a higher order of honorable behavior, treating others like you want to be treated, acting civilly, being polite. You don't recognize these aspects of not being ordinary when you're here, but you will. Employers know, your boss will know, and more experienced adults know. So understand right now, you are exceptionally well prepared for the future. Of that, there is absolutely no doubt. You may or may not know that the U.S. Department of Education ranks us number one among all public colleges in the Commonwealth. This is largely due to the amount of money our graduates earn relative to the cost of attendance. While it varies a little, we're often in the top 25 to 30 schools in the nation when it comes to the income of our graduates across all disciplines. Now this is significant, and while it is better to have money than to not have it, it definitely isn't the most important metric. I believe the true value of a VMI education is the impact, the positive impact, our alumni make in other people's lives. Now that we've established that you're well prepared and are very likely to make enough for more than enough money, perhaps we should focus for a moment on how you can make a positive impact. You know, as human beings, we're all imperfect. Perfection is not a realistic goal or expectation. I think a better goal is to look at how, as leaders, we can best contribute to the success of our team, whether that be a business, military unit, law practice, nonprofit, whatever. 
I like to think of an airplane flying as an example. How do we contribute to org organization taking flight and going as high and fast as it can go? In a sense, how do you provide more lift than drag, or almost all lift and almost no drag? You do it by focusing on people. Now, don't get me wrong. You can be demanding, ambitious, set and enforce high standards. You can be critical without being ugly, and you can be competitive. But at the end of it all, it is how you treat people that would determine your personal and your organization's successes. If you focus on people, all the rest will come. In the military, special operators, Delta, Special Forces, SEALs, the Ranger Regiment, are truly phenomenal at what they do. They generally don't enter and clear a building any differently than a conventional force does. But what truly sets them apart is how well trained they are. Navy SEAL Senior Chief Hatch said it very well at our leadership conference. He said advanced techniques are really basic techniques performed at a very high level under very tough circumstances. Advanced techniques are really basic techniques performed at a very high level under very tough circumstances. For me, this is a perfect example of what I mean by doing the ordinary extraordinarily well. If you routinely do this and focus on people first, the sky is the limit. It's like Secretary Mattis said when he spoke with us earlier this year. He distilled it down to three simple, elegant words, put others first. I would distill it down to one word, kindness. Be all you aspire to be, and then be kind to every person you meet. Start with being kind to yourself. Develop a lifetime of wellness, get enough sleep, you can do that now. Exercise and eat well. You only get one vessel, treat it right. Then be kind to your family, friends, colleagues, even adversaries, and then be kind to every person you meet, or at least attempt to. In my own life, I have often reflected on my time here at VMI and the lifelong friendships that only get better with age. Our school is a treasure, and the lessons learned here make an indelibly positive imprint on our psyches that remains with us over our entire lives. I believe our experiences here lift us up and demand that we be better men and women because we know it's the right thing to do. I look forward over the next many years to watching you thrive, learning of your successes and observing you having a hugely positive impact on your communities, state, the nation, and yes, even in your professions. And I believe you will come to discover that your true legacy will be the positive difference you have made in many, many lives. I think Sir Paul McCartney had it about right when he said, in the end, the love you take is equal to the love you make. We're proud of you. We wish you all the best. It may take a little time before you're ready, but not as much time as you think it will. But when you are ready, come back and visit. Last but not least, congratulations on joining an extraordinary group of graduates and alumni. We're delighted to welcome you and to continue not doing ordinary. Thank you. Colonel Inman, thank you for those insightful remarks. We appreciate it very much. Will the candidates for graduation please rise? The Academic Board has presented to the Board of Visitors all candidates for the Bachelor of Science degree and all candidates for the Bachelor of Arts degree, all of whom have been certified to have completed the requirements for graduation from the Virginia Military Institute. By the authority of law vested in the Board of Visitors and faculty, I confer upon each of you a diploma and testimony of your being a graduate of the Virginia Military Institute and award you the bachelor's degree appropriate to your major field of study. Please be seated and come forward as your name is called. General Moreshi, will you please read the names of our graduates? We will begin with distinguished graduates. Zachary Ryan Baker, Bachelor of Science in Civil Engineering, minor in Mathematics, minor in Physics.
Joshua Stewart Winder, Bachelor of Arts in Economics and Business. The Bachelor of Science degree in Applied Mathematics, Chelsea Marie Diver. Stephen Daniel C. The Bachelor of Science degree in Biology, John Thomas Cabell. Jackson David Pierce, Second Lieutenant, United States Army. Yeah. Amber Kelly Woodard. The Bachelor of Science degree in Civil Engineering, Chorus Allen Atkins. <laughs> Joshua Bay, with distinction. Justin Conrad Grobix. George Wesley Maddox. Jade Allen Mayer. Vincent O. Young, Second Lieutenant, United States Army. The Bachelor of Science degree in Computer Science, Paul Daniel Conte, Jr. Zachary David Wilton. The Bachelor of Arts degree in Biology. Jonathan Alexander Harrington, Second Lieutenant, United States Air Force. Aliyah Denise Little. <laughs> the Bachelor of Arts degree in Economics and Business, Wyatt Haynes Fagan.
Jessica Lee Hansen, Concentration in Global Management, Minor in Exercise Science. Siobhan Ventrell Henderson. Charles Austin Minugarod. Drake Austin Nixon, Second Lieutenant, United States Army. Jonathan Blake Ribby, Second Lieutenant, United States Army. Jared Matthew Silva. The Bachelor of Arts degree in English, William Joseph Wheeler. The Bachelor of Arts degree in History, Jacob P. Bailey, with distinction. <laughs> Paul Anthony Caliendo. Justin Mark Miller, Concentration in Military History. The Bachelor of Arts degree in International Studies. John Randy Abel, Minor in History. Richard Kane Gannon. Clarence Wynn. Graham Nathaniel Pratt. Roger Giovanni Caruga, double major in modern languages and cultures.
Ladies and gentlemen, the 2018 December graduates of the Virginia Military Institute. All graduates, their families, and guests are invited to join us now for a reception in Moody Hall. These proceedings are adjourned.